Hello everyone, welcome back once again to your favorite channel that is a study IQIS English. My name is Praveen Mishra and we are going to discuss the burning topic of the day. As what you can see, a particular event or a particular scenario which might be looking dangerous or as well as something pleasant to some viewers. But yes, it is dangerous. What do we consider it? It is a cloud burst event. Cloudburst that has recently claimed around three to five lives in the wonderful state of our that is Jammu and Kashmir. So what is the whole news? What is the whole scenario? Let's discuss the whole thing. So as with regard to the news, what you can see another deadly scene. That whole truck is right now submerged, right? And what is this all because? This is because of the cloudburst that has triggered landslide which has killed three in Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban district, right? So exact data is three to five, as if presently we don't know that it is minimum three to maximum five or exactly what. But yes, even if one life is claimed, it's a poignant stage for us. It's a sad news for us. And when it is claimed because of a natural catastrophic event or a, sign or a type of a natural disaster. So this is obviously alarming for us. It is something that tells that please do not disturb nature because nature has kept itself in a very balanced way. And when nature comes in to take revenge from the humans, we know it very well that five years back we were having the COVID-19 lockdown. The whole humans, they were locked inside their own house, but the nature was roaming free throughout the streets of the cities as well as the villages. So this is what the nature's revenge could be. And this is what nature's revenge is all about here, right? So three lives have been so far claimed and the data could reach more. What is the reason? Reason is the landslide that has caused because of the cloud burst. And this is what the scene, what you are watching here is yes, the cloud burst event. As you can see how deadly things they look like, okay? Dangerous and deadly both all at same time. Right, okay. So we talk about the further features here. Cloud burst, exactly how do we define it? Okay. And before that, what is the further things that is happening inside Jammu and Kashmir? The state sometimes switches in news because of the political agendas, because of some internal disturbances with regard to the militancy as well. Some social issues is also there, though it is present throughout the country, no doubt in that. But this time, our state of Kashmir is in the highlights, is in the news, not because of any man-made activity, not because of any social, political or a geopolitical activity. This time it is nature. So what we can see here, the news further, the three people, they were killed in landslide triggered by a cloud burst in Ramban area. The national highway, which is connecting the Kashmir with the rest of the country has been blocked. It has been considered closed now because of the landslide and extreme weather conditions, including thunderstorms, hailstorms, landslides, flash floods have wreckened havoc in several areas of Jammu and Kashmir. One natural event led to the other, others basically type of a domino effect, right? So cloud burst that has further led to the landslide, which has further led to the flash floods, okay? Hailstorms, thunder, uh, thunderstorms means specifically it is disturbing to the whole state. And yes, the national highway from Ramban to the other areas of Kashmir, they have been now closed as well, right? So what do we mean by this term cloudburst? Okay, what are the features we need to understand with regard to this cloudburst? So what you can see here, rainfall of 10 centimeter or more that has happened in just one hour, okay, 10 centimeter or more in one hour over a area that is 10 kilometer into 10 kilometer that is 10 square kilometer okay has happened it is considered as a cloud burst so guys remember the feature how am i going to differentiate between the rainfall and the cloud burst okay so cloud burst is a phenomena where there is a heavy rainfall and what is this heavy rainfall so 10 centimeters of rainfall that has happened in just one single hour into a 10 square kilometer of the territory or the area. It will be considered as what? The cloud burst. Simply speaking, if you can just, you know, half it out. Like for example, by this definition, even 
फाइव सेंटीमीटर ऑफ रेनफॉल इन हाफ एन आवर ओवर द सेम एरिया वुड ऑल्सो बी कंसीडर्ड एज द क्लाउड बर्स्ट लेट से क्लाउड बर्स्ट टू डिस्टिंग डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन टेन सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द रेनफॉल इन वन आवर इन टेन स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ओके इफ इट इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द रेनफॉल इन थर्टी मिनट इन सेम टेन स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ द एरिया देन ऑल्सो इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज वॉट इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज द क्लाउड बर्स्ट ओनली सो दिस इज वॉट द बेसिक डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन अ रेनफॉल एंड अ क्लाउड बर्स्ट राइट सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वॉट वी कैन सी टॉल क्यूमुलो निम्बस क्लाउड कॉजिंग क्लाउड बर्स्ट कैन ऑकर वेरी क्विकली इन अबाउट थर्टी मिनट्स सो द नेक्स्ट फीचर दैट यू नीड टू मार्क इज द क्लाउड बर्स्ट दे डू हैपन through which cloud actually so it should be which cloud it is the cumulonimbus clouds okay which cloud cumulonimbus cloud first thing second thing in india when you talk about just the country of india cloud bursts they often occur during the monsoon season okay so yes presently this is the month of april this is not monsoon but yeah it is something that is sort of the western disturbances or even the early monsoon signals right so here we have what the monsoon season generally cloud bursts they do happen in the monsoon season generally not mandatorily next they occur mostly over the himalayas the western ghats and the north eastern hill states of the country remember guys one thing we have got the western ghats but cloud bursts they are very rare in the eastern ghats okay very very rare okay but the primary sources or the primary locations what are they so firstly the himalayas obviously kashmir falls into the greater himalayan region secondly we have got the western ghats and yes we have got the north eastern hill areas as well okay so three primary sources or the three primary locations okay himalayas western ghats and the northeast hill states what we have got right so these are the three primary sources and apart from that yes the major sort uh, the major season basically that is the monsoon season and the major cloud that will be the cumulonimbus cloud okay now the further features what we have as you can see the cloud bursts they occur when strong upward currents upward current as in the fast moving wind basically right when strong upwards current okay of hot air prevent rain drops from falling basically allowing them to grow larger while new smaller drops form below okay so what happens basically a particular uh, sheet of hot air it moves upwards okay and this particular hot sheet of uh, air hot air basically it prevents the already existing rain drops from falling below and what happens with the passage of time when this hot air it tries to expand okay then suddenly a huge amount of rain drops they do fall and this creates what the rainfall okay so basically it is what hot upward current okay basically what is that okay they occur when strong upward current of hot air they prevent the rain drops from falling okay allowing them to grow obviously they are getting consolidated right they grow and in that meantime when they get cool right when this hot sheet when it uh, when it goes into the expansion phase now so it allows the rain drops to fall below and this rain drops now they are bigger in size that is technically 10 cm in size 10 square kilometer of the area and within one min uh, one hour when they are you know showering into a particular location that will be considered as what the cloud burst next as you can see this leads to a significant accumulation of water in the particular atmosphere which is released abruptly when the upward currents they do weaken that is when they expand next cloud bursts uh, frequently occur in the hilly and mountainous region as we can understand in india it is most prevalent in the himalayan as well as the northeastern region right so this is what the basic things and one thing that we need to understand they are type of the orographic rain so we have got the conventional rains the non conventional rains and then we have got the orographic rains as well so cloud bursts they are coming into the category of which one orographic rainfall okay so the features of the cloud burst 10 cm of rain 
वन आवर विद इन वन आवर विद इन टेन स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ द रीजन वट वट आर द क्लाउड्स ओके सो द क्यूमिलो निम्बस क्लाउड्स Apart from that, the prevalent areas, the prevalent areas, they will be the hilly and the mountainous areas. In India, specifically Himalayas, northeastern areas as well as the western parts. What is the primary season? So it is the monsoon season primarily, not mandatorily. Generally, it occurs into the prime uh, into the monsoon season. Okay. Next thing, what we need to mark, it is a type of the orographic rainfall. right so this leads us to the discussion of the very next thing that is orographic rainfall so how am i going to justify or define this term that is orographic rainfall so orographic rainfall occurs when warm air rises which air warm air obviously that's why hot moving upward hot upward moving air this creates what the blockage into the clouds which prevents the rain drops from falling below right so here we have what the hot okay or the warm air rises over a mountain as the air goes up it cools and forms clouds which then cause rain on the side of the mountain facing the wind when the air goes down the other side it warms up and does not bring much rain creating a dry area called the rain shadow and this kind of rainfall can be seen in places like cherapunji meghalaya right the area which is having the highest amount of rainfall mohsen ram or the cherapunji so what are the features that we need to mark see firstly orographic rainfall they are caused because of what first thing that we need to mark it is the warm air which rises up warm air it always rises up okay and cool air it always falls down this is what the geographical phenomena is warm air that means it will rise cool air that means it will fall down right so when a warm air rises upward over a mountain because of which okay when it cools down okay it falls down so after cooling okay as it cools it forms clouds and when these cause rain on the side of the mountain facing the wind okay this will be particularly very harsh very strong and then next when the air goes down the other side the other side it warms up and does not bring much rain creating a dry area which area area which will be not having much uh, of the rain that particular area will be termed as what rain shadow okay this is what orographic rainfall is so basically just cutting the long thing into the short one when hot current or a hot upward moving air okay it moves towards the mountain side okay and when it cools down it creates some clouds okay these clouds when they cool more they form precipitation that is basically the rain okay and they form the rain or actually they provide the rain specifically towards the windward side of the mountain but the other side of the mountain that is facing less rainfall okay it will be considered as what the rain shadow right so when the air goes down the other side it warms up and does not bring much rain creating a dry area that is termed as what the rain shadow and in india basically the orographic rainfall is more common where in the state of meghalaya specifically the areas of cherapunji and mohsenram as we can we are already aware of this that these are the areas which face most number of rainfall right now when you can see here this through this diagram okay so the wind it is moving up okay and now here the clouds they have been formed and when they are moving upwards the clouds they have been formed and when they are cooling down so it is providing much amount of rain okay that is what we call it as the windward side but on the opposite side when it comes to the leeward side okay not much rain is present here okay and because of which this area will be termed as what the rain shadow area right so what are the features windward side and leeward side windward side when the wind is going up this is the hot wind when it is cooling okay it is creating precipitation or providing us the rainfall very high amount of rainfall which could be ultimately converted into the cloud burst as well okay but the other side that is the leeward side which is not pre present which is not uh, experiencing much of the rainfall it will be termed as the rain shadow area right so this is what the air expansion or the cloud precipitation etc things they do form up the next catastrophic event that is termed as the 
cloudburst. Okay, guys. So I hope everything is clear with regard to or in context of the term of the cloudburst. And yes, we feel for the people, those who face not just because of the man-made activities, but also because of the natural catastrophic events, right? So deepest sympathies. And once again, please do comment your opinion about the about the things that has happened inside the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And yes, we have got our deepest sympathies to the people, right? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And yes, please do not forget to subscribe to our study IQS English channel and wherever you wish to connect you are free to connect with me so we have got two platforms for you so the first one will be the telegram and we have got the channel that is a study underscore with underscore Praveen and the other one we have got the Instagram so you can connect with me here as well in the username Praveen Mishra underscore 2107 okay guys so that's it from my side today this is me Praveen Mishra signing off see you all in the very next session bye bye good day take care Jai Hind Jai Bharat